hailing from Detroit, Michigan, the illusionist, Jerick 120. And we are back here on the West Coast Wrestling Connection. Let's officially welcome you to our program, Blake Chadwick, Brian Zane. What a way to kick things off. The Fit Club suspended indefinitely, stripped of the Tag Team Championship. Those titles are now vacant. And for the second week in a row, here is Jarek 120 here in the Pacific Northwest. He is uh, the master illusionist, the master manipulator. Call him what you want, but so far in his limited sample size here at the WCWC, he's been very effective. I've never seen someone pull a coin out of somebody's ear in a wrestling match before, but so it goes. And that's how he ultimately won his match last week. And if you take a look at that mask that he just took off, a varying degree of emotion. And it seems like you never really know what you're going to get from Jarek 120. And his opponent. He is the standard, Dusty Gold! And here comes his opponent, Dusty Gold, returning to the WCWC. We've seen him in recent weeks in tag team competition alongside Brandon Scott, coming very, very close to knocking off the Fit Club for those tag team championships. They were unsuccessful, but now Dusty Gold gonna give it a go as a singles competitor here. A man that's very athletic, very put together, and has a lot to prove here in the West Coast Wrestling Connection. And what a feather in his cap it would be if he's able to knock off Jarek 120. A very big feather in the very big top half of Jarek 120 here if he wins, actually. But, I mean, you know, Dusty Gold, he's a relative newcomer here at the WCWC, but he has unlimited upside. Certainly can't teach that athleticism that he possesses. But again, the mysteriousness of Jarek 120. Jarek 120 uh, looking to cast another spell here on the audience of the West Coast Wrestling Connection with another victory here tonight. The bell sounds we are underway. Dusty Gold, Jarek 120 to kick things off in the ring this week on the WCWC. On our format, it's match number two, but we know that tag team title match that was scheduled to go down no longer happening as those titles are now vacant. Hopefully we can bring you some updates before we go off the air here tonight on the situation revolving around those tag titles. But another huge episode on tap here this week. I mean, that is just earth-shattering news. The fact, I mean, again, you know, I'm relatively new here, but I'm all, I got to know the Fit Club recently. They seem like okay guys. I would never consider them to be people so willing to, to go to that length and to strike somebody with a car just because they're, you know, within sniffing distance of the Tag Team Championships. That is insane. Now, we certainly know the Fit Club would go through the drive-through, just not drive through someone else. I mean, that is a bad accuracy if that's the case. As Jarek 120 here, as you see there on the back of his tights, that disturb reality. From what I understand, Brian, that is his YouTube channel. You know, as he is approaching nearly a million viewers. I know it's crazy, and that's that's impressive even for me. And I'm the undisputed king of wrestling YouTube. But this guy, he's apparently uh, impressing people with his magic tricks on YouTube. Doesn't give away the secrets, as a good magician should uh, never do. But yeah, I mean, I tip my hat to uh, the Magic Man here. As Dusty Gold going to high risk territory where he feels right at home. And Jarek 120 makes sure that he's not as comfortable oh. as he normally is. Oh my God! And that big pump kick knocks him all the way to the apron, then to the arena floor. Very tough tumble. Did you see the impact when he fell on the apron, then on the floor? For Dusty Gold, we've talked about it in the past, Brian, the hardest part of that ring, and Dusty Gold felt that 100%. Jarek 120 now, from what we've seen, very little of him in the grand scheme of things. He is showing, oh my God, a sadistic side that honestly surprises me. When I talked to him in the back, he seemed like a perfectly nice guy, but he's showing a dark side here in the ring tonight. As Jarek now. Now what's he doing? Okay, now it's time for him to do some balancing. I guess he got windy in here. Oh, oh and Jarek right there. One of the most innovative elbows we've ever seen. I Unbelievable right there. I take back my snark. That was very impressive. Thought he was just showing off, but instead inflicts even more punishment on Dusty Gold. And really manipulating that count, just like he manipulates his opponent's minds and all the fans' minds that follow him around the world. A magician never reveals his secrets. I don't know what's going on in the mind of Jarek 120, but it's effective. And the springboard double knees rides Dusty Gold right to the mat. This could do it here. Jarek hooks the inside leg, two. Only gets a two count. But for the first couple of opportunities we've had a chance to see Jarek 120 in the WCWC, he has certainly lived up to the hype. 
two weeks in, and he is looking very impressive here. Can we just go back for a second and talk about the tag team situation, the tag team titles? They've been suspended now. Uh, you know, we're still waiting to hear from the officials of the WCWC as to what their future holds. But, I mean, uh, what happens? Spicy McHaggis is now without a partner. Uh, Marcus Malone is out several. Who God knows how long he's going to be out for and losing that money on the table. Certainly indefinitely. Indefinitely. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. And there's other tag teams that I think are willing to set up for the challenge. But how will we determine the new tag team champion? We will certainly find out, hopefully very soon, as Jarek120 with that belly-to-back suplex dumps him right on the back of his neck there, rolls him over, hooks the inside leg, two, and Gold is able to kick out. You know, Jarek is very assertive here, very aggressive here in the ring, but credit to Dusty Gold, he is kicking out of everything Jarek's throwing at him. As Jarek measuring him up here in the corner, and Jarek go. goes for that super kick. Catches him. Well scouted there by Dusty Gold, spins him around, Dusty Gold has him here. Oh. Dusty with a bit of his own magic by able to thwart the kick attempt. Almost a modified Northern Light suplex right there. Does not hold a bridge. And he sends him to the apron there. Does Jarek 120 and Dusty Gold creates a bit of separation once again. And Dusty Gold Whoa! goes for that tornado DDT from the apron, but he walks right into the cutter. I mean, that's got... What was it? Hey, what did you... Oh, wait a minute. Once again... There's that punch! That punch knocks him right out to... Oh! No! But Dusty, go look at referee Sparky Ballard. He was shocked. It was enough uh, to put away Mark Greenblood, but apparently not Dusty Gold. Uh, this is frustrating Jarek 120. You can see it. This is the first time I've seen him in two weeks where he looks visibly shook by what's happening here. What, it, what used to work isn't right now. We've seen a varying degrees of emotion across the face of Jarek 120, and you see right there. He starts out supremely confident, but you can see this resilience by Dusty Gold is starting to eat away at him. Indeed it is. Is Jarek now, oh! There's the Dusty. strength of Dusty. Might have caught him napping there. Had him up in the fireman's carry position. Dusty Gold now goes for that pop-up moonsault. Instead, Jarek moves out of the way, but Dusty Gold tries to stay on the attack. The feel out of the corner. Now Dusty Gold with the Irish whip. And a picture-perfect drop kick right to the kisser. What a Down drop goes kick. Jarek. Here we go. Dusty <laughs> Gold now trying to run through the offense, the belly to back into the Uranagi. This is going to be his best chance, I think, to finally uh, you know, pull the upset here against Jarek. Dusty is relatively unproven in singles action here in the West Coast Wrestling Connection. This could be a big win. And Brian, he's going to high-risk territory here. Wait a minute. And Jarek. Oh, no. Last time we saw him up there, it was bad news. Now what do we got? Right into the trio. Whoa. And Jarek now. Look at that athleticism to get all the way up top. Right on the legs. Oh, oh my God. And the leg drop as he's in a trio. Whoa position. Completely prone body. And, and Dusty Gold has out. nowhere to go. He is out. He's limp like a noodle. The blood rushing right to his head as he's hanging upside down as both of these men are on the mat. I think the blood is the least of his worries. He, he looked unconscious there for a second. Dusty Gold trying to collect his thoughts right here. And going back to the tag team title situation, also the Pacific Northwest title situation, Jeff Aiken and the rest of the board of directors have had their work cut out for them over the last few weeks here in the WCWC. So much title controversy right now in the WCWC. The one championship that seems to be stable in all this is the Legacy Championship. And of course, Gangrel and Dante's Rejects, you have to believe they will be here sometime very, very soon. Later on, possibly in this broadcast, as Dusty Gold there to kick to the midsection off the ropes and a big knee lift. Gold now. Dusty looks like he's going to put him away here. Has him up. Oh! And that senton roll through. Whoa, the height! And the quebrada. Oh, he does not hold the cover. Might have been a mistake there, Brian. He could have put him away right there. What's stopping him? And Dusty Gold, he's going all the way upstairs. Keep your eyes on Dusty Gold. Oh, my goodness. Look at the height on that elbow. If he covers him, we could have an upset. Let on press one, two. Oh, two and three quarters. Brian, if he hooked the leg, we're talking about a victory for Dusty Gold. I mean, he could have put him away after the moonsault, the springboard. But he uh, he went for the he got it though the height I'm impressed with the height and the agility and athleticism of Dusty Gold here but now what's he got in mind he's gonna go for the gold rush it looks like I've seen him do this before whoa and Jer where did those cards come from it was a slap in the face with a deck of cards wait a minute he's got some handcuffs where did he get that from oh my Sparky Ballard playing the 52 card pickup clocks it right across the face two and three and Jared picks up another win the winner of this match Jared won. 20. You know what? That was quite a magic trick that he pulled there. Throwing the cards in the air. Sparky Bauer, the referee, distracted. And he hit him right in the mush with... Where do you get the cards from? The handcuffs? I just...
I, I, I'm, I'm shook. I'm shook, Caleb. Two weeks, Blake. two matches, two magic tricks. He's manipulating your mind now, I Brian. I know. He's got a spell on me. Unbelievable turn of events right there, folks. Jarek 120 picks up another win here in the WCWC. We have to go to commercial break. When we come back, Brian, the rock god himself, oh, Ricky yeah. Gibson, will be here to take on Mikey O'Shea one-on-one -on, -one on the West Coast Wrestling Connection.